next district of uh, minutes. Uh, we've all previously received the regular work session of the Board of Commissioners June 19, 2014. Regular meeting of Board of Commissioners June 23, 2014. Emergency meeting of the Board of Commissioners July 2, 2014. Uh, everyone's already received those, had a chance to review those. Is there a motion to accept those minutes? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we'll probably move to second. Any discussion? None noted. All in favor, aye. Aye. At this point, we have public comments. We have three people signed up. First is Bonnie uh, Chibatini, the South Loop Insurance. Second, David Wall, the South Loop Insurance. And third is Gina Whittington, Southwest Airlines, uh, doing employee parking. Mr. Tubertini, uh, or you can have a full. Yes, sir, you can. Excuse me, sir. I live to, uh, first of all, my name is Ronnie Jubertini. I'm with South Group Insurance Services here in Jackson. And David Wall is also <coughs> with South Group. He is our insurance and risk management specialist for airports. Uh, I wanted to address the board to first introduce myself and introduce David and then to introduce Southbridge, who has uh, handled the risk management and insurance services for the uh, airport park for several years. And take just a couple of minutes to tell you a little about us, and then uh, ask you to consider a proposition. Uh, first of all, uh, Southbridge has a, a rather unique business model in that it's designed to control the total cost of risk of the business and make the business more attractive to the insurance marketplace. We are independent insurance agents, meaning that we don't work for any particular insurance company. We represent insurance companies from all over, all, all over the world. Um, we have focused on risk management and a risk reduction plan. And our objective is to have a <coughs> continuous risk management program in place for all of the clients that we represent. Um, we, most traditional insurance agencies, which we work at one time, spend about 25% of their time in, in marketing and placement of insurance products with insurance companies. And about 75% of their time uh, doing the traditional services that insurance agencies do, doing endorsements, filing claims, making changes, and that sort of thing. And we do those same things too. We spend about 25% of our time doing, doing placement and, and, and marketing of insurance product, and we also spend about 25% of our time doing what we call traditional or what we consider value minimum insurance services. We spend about 50% of our time in trying to analyze the risks that our clients face and put appropriate actions in place to minimize risk and handle those risks. Over the years, we have, we have worked through several uh, risk management issues uh, with Mr. Mandelis and, and the airport authorities or the airport authority staff. And uh, as recently as uh, a couple of years ago, we had a, a spike in workers' compensation premium, uh, where the workers' compensation premium is based on the experience modification. Workers' comp is one of the things that you can control if your as claims go up, the modifying factor goes up, as claims are reduced, it goes down. The experience modifier for the uh, airport authority had climbed over 100%. And we started analyzing the claims, trying to see what, or analyze trends to see what was causing the problem, what problems were. Uh, went back to the, the staff that was appropriate, responsible for it. Went through those and, and frankly identified what was causing the problem. In some cases, was was the lack of use of personal protective equipment, safety glasses, and things like that. And some lifting claims, and we were able to identify the trends and work with the staff to 
try to modify the claims that are going up. And what's happened over the past couple of years, that modifier has gone down 19 percent, which frankly equates to a, about $15,000 a year difference in premium for the airport. South Group is a Mississippi company. We have been in exist where we're the result of a merger of a number of agencies across the state. We've been in existence 13 years now. Uh, David Wall has handled the airport during that period of time for South Group and has frankly uh, handled risk management and, and insurance products for the airport for the last 32 years. We were notified that the commission decided last month to make a change and had appointed uh, Ms. Gates Porter to be the agent. And I talked to Mrs. Porter, not I know, met with, with Mrs. Porter, uh, very nice lady, and told her that we would be happy to work with her, offering the experience that we, that we had, the products that we had. Uh, Mrs. Porter had already talked to an insurance agency, uh, a Canadian owned agency called Fox Everett, that's here in Jackson, and didn't feel like that didn't feel like that she could go back on the agreement that, that she had made with him, and I certainly understand that. She said, however, I'm gonna do whatever the authority, whatever the commissioner is telling me. So I'm here today to ask not your reconsideration of, of Mrs. Porter. I'm here to ask that you consider looking at alternative proposals. I'm, I'm asking that Hub, Fox Everett, offer you a proposal using whatever insurance companies that they would like to go through to that they represent. And that you allow us to present a proposal using the same insurance companies that we have created the products and, and package with that we'd like to hear for now. I think it's a win-win for the airport. I know that I know that risk management of the, of the airport you know, is your objective, just as it's our objective. And I know you don't want to be at risk. And I know that that uh, Mrs. Porter will do a good job in, in working with you folks. I don't I, I, I don't see any problem with that. As I told Mrs. Porter, we would be happy to work with her on whatever the basis is that that uh, she would like to work on, whatever the basis is that she may she may run the other agency. So I was hoping to present something that would be a win-win for the commissioners, and that you would look at at least two different proposals and allow Mrs. Porter to work with whichever proposal you term best. If the other one's best, and, you know, that's that's fine too. But uh, so, Mr. Chairman, that's all I all I have. Hey, Mr. Wall, I'm here for him. I would like to say that it's been a privilege over 32 years to, to work with the authority uh, under different administrations. Um, insurance costs with the airport authority today are 20 percent less than they were in 2005. Property values are up, employee counts up, quality of the fleet is up. Uh, everything is pretty much moving ahead. The only two lines of business that have ever really affected or not been affected by these last rounds are in the area of property and also in the area of the DNO form practices liability and fiduciary liability. Oh, I'm not talking loud enough. Uh, those, uh, everything else has been trending down. Uh, the one thing about property is that it's always going to increase a little bit with rate. So much per hundred dollars of value. A uh, property package includes the property, the business personal property, business income, extra expense, ordinary payroll, boiler machinery, uh, a great deal of coverage affiliated has been on this account since 1999. And they've, CNA and Travelers and Chubb have looked at it, uh, all of them higher in premium, but not the coverage either. 
the overall rate per hundred has only gone up five percent since 1999. But yet, it's going to creep up a little bit. Automobile has been flat for almost 20 years. Workers' compensation <coughs> crept up to around 140, or excuse me, 100 is $14,000 last year, and then it's down uh, to slightly less than $80,000 this year. And it's not all in favor of it. It's a mod effect uh, sort of trickling down the year before. Um, I guess what I'm saying is this is a gown I've known and worked with for a long time. And I would sincerely hope that you would consider our proposal, and we'll take the markets that we have and do the best that we can, and do the best proposal we can. Thank you. And Zena Whittington. Um, yeah. If I may, I think you have a question. It's actually probably a comment if you want to ask a question. Sir, yeah, yes. I just wanted to know a little bit about the company. Where's the headquarters at? The main headquarters in Brisbane, Mississippi. Okay. We have uh, 21 branches from South Haven to Bay St. Louis. We're primarily on the western side of the state. The east, we're in Richmond and Hattiesburg and Laurel, and uh, then we kind of shift over and move up the western part of the state. You do a lot of business around Jackson. Yes, we do. And, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, we, we do, but I just, you're going to mm -hmm. uh, provide insurance for over a million commercial insurance. And that's what's none of them are going to close. If you don't mind, I'm She's doing her internship at University Medical Center. She's become the doctor, so she chose to <coughs> her do that when she applied to, to pay for her medical school. And now with the parking situation, our parking's been pulled. We, many of us, uh, um, Captain Byron Gray, he's gone up to talk to a lot of people. He's getting married tomorrow, so he could be here. But um, I've gone up to the office twice. We're told it's um, a TSA issue. Talk to, sorry, I don't know it's not on here. Talk to um, Jim Cooksey with TSA. He said um, the parking is totally a uh, JMA. It doesn't have anything to do with the security with, you know, TSA, which is what we were told originally. Um, we were told it was a badging issue, which off I think the pilots have to be fingerprinted security, things like that, which um, I think we're paying like 80 right now, you know, for the past year. I spoke with all the flight attendants and the pilots with Southwest that currently live in our park. We're all willing to pay whatever it costs the airport to badge us out of our own pocket. We're willing to pay a premium for our parking. I don't know if y'all are at the airport much. Employee parking never over 65% full. It's, there's a big lot there. It's always, you know, I mean, almost always halfway empty. Um, just like that would be a consideration. There's a lot of other, from my understanding, um, Atlas Cargo Park's out there. You know, they don't fly with an internal there. Navy Base or Meridian, a lot of the guys park there. You know, they're not, you know, an airline out there. The C-17 unit, FedEx, Jackson Cab Company is always parked out there. Um, there's just, you know, we have a lot of commuters out here. I hate for us to have to, you know, drive around just because we can't get parking, you know, here in Jackson where we live. And a lot of us have lived here so a long time. So just want to see if we can, you know, work something out on that for us. Thank you.
you'd like to introduce is Marcus here too? No. Oh, oh, for two. All right. Bring it back. Uh, uh, and Kaminsky's not here either, is he? No. 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 All right. Three. All right. Wonderful. Uh, we do have our summer interns. In this yeah. All right. right. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd like to introduce to you the following interns uh, as part of our year-end program with them. Uh, it's always a pleasure and honor to be part of their team, and they learn a lot about JMA, uh, which looks really behind the glass doors and so forth. So if Rachel Bach would come forward here, uh, she's been with us from Henry Riddle. Uh, too bad she didn't go from Albany University, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> out of school, I do believe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
entertain a motion on acceptance of the balance sheet and income statement and claims document. So moved. Is there a second? A second. Okay, properly moved and second. Any discussion? No, no, that we have a chance to review this prior to the meeting. Uh, all in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, the same. Uh, no, 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 statistics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
there is a upside because we'll get a slight in, increase in revenue. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation, but when you look at the net effect of Southwest as to our impact our overall budget, it's about $800,000 loss of revenue. And, you know, it, it is an increase, so I'll acknowledge that, but uh, we think this is the best way to, to uh, accommodate all parties. That's fair and reasonable. And I understand, Mr. Van the price is still significantly less than the general public would be paying. That's correct. Okay. And when you say who, who would, would like it, you speak I'm in Southwest and other airline. Oh, okay. the airline, airline, airline employees that are not based in Jackson. Won't like it. That's right. Okay, but they're not based here. Okay. Okay. Uh, probably we would set any other discussion. All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, opposed the same. No. Noted. Uh, we have on your resolution request and enhanced light and signage on road streets approaching Jackson and neighborhood. And I believe we previously approved and made a resolution that covers that line. Well, yeah, there was one approved in, in May, a little bit less, uh, not as long as the one that we went over in the work session, but, but it essentially is. covers the same. Right. Okay. That case, we'll move forward. Uh, on the executive search, I um, sent to everyone a proposal from ADK to executive search. Uh, and actually, this is a company that I found out about from Mr. Vanderlees. Also, while we were um, at Bonneville, and we were talking to the Melbourne uh, chairman of that authority, and they had just gone through a search after losing their executive director after 15 20 years. And this ended up, I didn't know at the time, it was the same as that company that we utilized by then. And Mr. Vanderlees may be aware of that. Their proposal um, calls for a uh, a flat fee, not percentage based, uh, $33,000 plus expenses uh, limited to a set amount. Uh, it includes on site, it's a national search. Uh, they work exclusively in the air, aviation industry, and recruitment. Uh, I think Ms. Reynolds told me if I'm great, JMA has actually worked with them in the past. No, we have not. We have not. No. Okay, but you no. love them. Well, I know about them. Right. You love them. Right. Uh, but they've worked with several airlines. Uh, you've got everything you want to know about online. Uh, but uh, we do have that proposal, and uh, my suggestion is we go ahead and retain them uh, to get the search started. Uh, we're losing a valuable asset. We get the replacement gear started. Uh, and y'all all have a chance, hopefully. To yes. Oh, we repeat it. Okay. Uh, is there a motion to retain ADK executive um, search? I mean, Second. All uh, right. Probably moving second. Is there a discussion? None noted. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, uh, on early issues, I don't think we have any good. No, but you have this time. Yeah, let me go right. Uh, I was going to do a wrap for board travel. Uh, for board travel, Two things. One, I'm going to explain uh, about our trip to Farm Pro, but also we have with us Ross Tucker. Yes, Ross yeah. from Chamber. You come back, yeah, you come over with the Chamber. Yeah. And do an overview of what exactly happens while we're over there. Certainly. If you don't mind. Certainly. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Commissioners. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, a little bit about uh, Farnborough and, and the air show and, and how the history proceeds itself with the uh, Mississippi Development Authority. Basically, it's a it is a marketing venue. It is purely a, a recruiting uh, marketing venue. The state uh, asks all of its uh, major assets throughout the state to come to come take part in. Uh, we spent uh, we went over there and spent uh, four days uh, in, at the uh, the Farmer Air Show. Uh, during that time, we had uh, in essence about 48 meetings uh, between the Mississippi team and the, it comprised of about 20 members uh, throughout the state of Mississippi. Our delegation uh, had the, had was well represented. Uh, we, us individually, uh, as a group, we roughly split up uh, various meetings uh, that was conducive to uh, attracting companies that they could fit within the Jackson metro area. And uh, went out and visited with them on an individual basis, and actually uh, uh, 
some of the reports, the early reports uh, that we've got coming back uh, in uh, from the state as well as uh, all of our other uh, state partners was that this was uh, probably one of the most productive uh, shows and, and uh, events that we went on. Uh, whenever you hear air shows, uh, and, and I'm going to try to try to uh, justify this a little bit, whenever you hear air shows, uh, the general public seem to think of, of the, the similar to the flying, the blue angels, and, and things like that. This is essentially where every major uh, tier two, tier one, tier three supplier in the aviation, the airspace, and defense industry comes to one location. So versus us going on a monthly basis to, to various states and various areas and, and trying to recruit those companies, we can catch them all in one, one location. Uh, it's very productive for the state. It was very productive for, for this area, uh, not only uh, utilizing and showing the assets that we have here at Hawkins as well as Jackson Marley at Everest International Airport, Mega Ball Everest International Airport. And then um, we uh, showed all the assets uh, from in and around the region that we can support. Uh, so anyway, that covered? That covered. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just wanted to thank uh, Jackson Chamber, Mississippi Development Authority, and others for making that trip, uh, putting uh, everything together, and making it possible. Uh, it was an eye-opening experience, uh, and uh, one thing I walked away from it was with the knowledge that we're going to have to do a lot more to be competitive on the worldwide scale. Um, we got to train our kids, and do some aviation. We have to. Uh, uh, bring businesses in, you know, so the city of Jackson, I'm, I'm glad we had an opportunity to experience that. Uh, some of our uh, folks even met uh, U.S. Ambassador, mm -hmm. Senators, and so forth. So uh, it was a very worthwhile experience. Okay. And just to summarize, basically what we do is we go there and MBA and Ross, they have basically put together meetings with different companies and entities that may or may not be interested in Mississippi. Some of them are cold calls, some of them are follow up business companies that they meet them at an air show or the prior volunteer show. And sometimes it's where companies have come to a prior show and they've limited down and they only want to talk to Mississippi, North Carolina, and Florida this time. They talked to maybe 20 people last time, this time they've narrowed their list down. And those are the ones you go in. And basically, you're a similar team. Uh, usually, we'll have somebody from the coastal area, somebody from central Mississippi, somebody from northern Mississippi. And the team goes in. And depending on what the prevalence of the company is, if they're interested in the central part of the state, they take the lead. If they're interested in the southern part of the state where they report, they take the lead. If they're interested in being up near Columbus, uh, Air Force Base, that team takes the lead. But you basically follow them. So the team is composed of people from each different area. Uh, and you basically go in and present, and what you're trying to do is sell them on the attributes. One of the questions that almost every single one had, which I found interesting, was they want to know the educational level of the workforce and whether or not there were community colleges and places that they could team with to help develop the skill level. Fortunately for us, we have a USM that has a Polymer Institute, and we have a good community college system, uh, so that was a good selling point for us. Uh, but it, it really helps you to focus on the need to stay with education. As far as uh, the Jackson area, our airport stacks up well. The real problem that you see, I, I think, is simply the fact that uh, Florida brings tons of people, Oklahoma brings tons of people. Alabama, you would think it's the size of Florida based on the contingent that they bring. So our contingent of that might sound like a large contingent. We're actually a relatively small contingent. But I think bang for buck, when you look at what Mississippi has done in the aviation industry, it has benefited them and benefits Jackson to actually go. Um, but basically, we got a dossier on the individual companies that we're going to meet with, that we're provided, uh, who does all the work. But before we go to a meeting, we know who's going to be at the meeting. We know about that company, the founder. We pretty much know who that company is and what we anticipate they're looking for. As a follow-up call, we know that too, and we sort of know what to focus on with them. Uh, but that's why we go, and uh, it's a chance to find out information, see what other airlines are doing. But more importantly, it's about driving business. The uh, U.S. Senator and, and the Congress people are there, uh, as well as from the governor's office, because a lot of these companies, second word out of their mouth on education is where you're incentives. What can you put together and give back to us to make it worth our while to come to your area? And uh, 
happy. It's a really good venue. And particularly one company that we spoke with, and I think I used North Carolina, Mississippi, and uh, Lord, you know, they really had just narrowed it down. Those are all three they wanted to talk to mm -hmm. this year. And they first met Mississippi at the Paris show. It was his first time ever going because he had heard about it. And his company had continued to just grow and grow and grow. And as part of the expansion, he says, okay, I'd like to look at these three and what do you have to offer? And there were several like that. Uh, and that's just an overview of what happened there. Farms broke and uh, they made some good contacts and obviously states following up. They're very aggressive about following up. Very, very aggressive. Which I appreciate. Um, at this time, we also have uh, two other resolutions that we'd like to put forward. Uh, one is a resolution as a JMA policy and procedures. And uh, I'll read it and then hopefully I'll have a motion in a second. Whereas the Board Commissioner of Jackson Square for Authority during its existence has adopted various board policies and procedures governing conduct and activities of JMA Commission management person staff members. And whereas all the previously adopted policies and procedures of the JMA Board currently are not indexed and electronically accessible to the JMA Commission management persons and staff members, now therefore be resolved that the Board hereby determines it will be in the best interest of and in furtherance of the duties and responsibility of Jackson Square for Authority and the Board hereby bill us take the following actions. The board directs JMA staff to formulate a plan to index and make it electronically available on a secure website. I'll previously adopt the board policies and procedures of JMA board directors which are electronically accessible and searchable in the same manner of the city Jackson code of ordinance. The board further directs our JMA, the board further directs JMA staff to provide to the board at its August 21, 2014 work session a memo as to the staff status of the work of JMA staff regarding the board. There are motion to approve this resolution. So, There's second. Okay. The following. Move the property second in discussion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed the same. Now note the second uh, is related to resolution regarding portable breath test device, a uh, PBT and vehicle video equipment. Uh, whereas the public safety department of Jackson, Baker Wiley, Arizona National Airport patrols various streets and roads on property owned by Jackson's Airport Authority JMA, including the East Metro Parkway, where his officer signs his public safety department, uh, I'll call it JMWI, frequently stop, arrest, and charge motorists for various crime and traffic violations, including driving under influence of alcohol, DUI, and whereas when a JMWEIA officer stops a motorist for suspected DUI violation, the officer has to call either the Florida Police Department or Perth Police Department to administer a PPT test in slash or video the field sobriety testing of motors, which in turn increase the amount of time that the JMWEIA officer must retain remain on the public street or road with suspect that the motorists can thereby increase the possibility of the JMWEIA officer sustained by the injury. Now therefore be resolved that the board hereby terms will be in the best interest of and in furtherance of dues and responsibility of Jackson Surf Authority and the board is hereby does take the next. The board directs JMA staff to purchase as soon as practical PBT devices for each JMWEIA vehicle that patrols streets and roads on property owned by JMA and provide the new training to secure certification regarding the use of the PDB device to each JMWEIA officer who performs patrol service on the roads and streets located on JMA property. The board further directs staff to investigate vehicle video equipment the JMA can purchase for JMA vehicles used by the public safety department to control streets and roads located on JMA property and the training needed to operate and use that equipment. Afterwards, staff shall provide board in the way as investigation file. The board further directs staff to provide to the board as August 21, 2014 work session and memo slash memos as to the status of the work staff regarding the above matters. And it's my understanding, Terry, you know about this and I'm going to work on that. Yes, sir. Mr. Bandley. All right. Uh, is there a motion for resolution? Someone, is there a second? Second. Okay, any discussion? Uh, noted. Uh, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed the same? No, noted. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we're going to go in closed session to determine, to determine whether or not to go into executive session. Motion. Yes. Motion. I'm going to go in closed session and get a commission. I'm going to go in executive session. Okay, in discussion. All in favor, aye. Aye. Close the same. At this point, I would ask y'all to leave us if you want to make a determination.